here is all about keeping the speed on. So being really smooth and precise with your actions. The important thing for me is keeping the boat balanced and doing my bit at the front of the pole as quickly as possible. And the most important bit for me is to get the angle of the exit with the spinnaker up correct. It's important that we really communicate well through the move. Stand by for a hoist us. Okay. Clear the kite out. Twin her on. So now we're all pretty ready. So I just now bear away into it. Really smooth steering and get us down onto a run. I keep the weight balanced. Pole out. Pole on run. I go board up. Straight onto the sheet. And we're away. Sailing downwind, I'm basically the eyes of the boat, looking out for the pressure and feeding that information into Sass, who's driving the boat hard with the spinnaker. My job downwind is just to keep us going as fast as possible. So just always a constant roll on that leech. And as soon as it starts rolling like that, just pull it in a little bit. So being quick downwind is all about good communication. A constant feed of information of what the pressure's doing on the water and the load that Saskia's got in the kite. Right, we'll roll into a bit of fast downwind sailing here. That's good pressure now. You can see all of these little differences are real small. It's just about getting a bit of a hill in the boat when the breeze is light. Just drop it So then when you've got the breeze, getting the boat flat and soaking down on the pressure. It's really important for the helm here not to let the mainsail out too much. If you let it out, it all back wins, which is pretty slow. So keep the two sheets in your hand and put it in just so it stops luffing off of the back of the mast. So when racing, there's three things that are important. When the pressure is on the course, whether you're on a lift or on a header, and what is the long jive? So I'm constantly looking around for pressure, helped by the compass on the shift, and the lured mark, which is always somewhere through the boom. And as soon as I see a jive that's long, we need to make sure that we're on that. So stand by for a jive. So jiving in light winds is pretty hard, but there are a couple of things that can help you. The first thing is to get a really good roll of the boat throughout the jive. And the second thing is, is to keep the spinnaker away as far as you can from the boat. So um, on the prep for the jive, that's part of my job, making sure all my sheets are clear, but none of them catch and clatch the spinnaker. Okay, so we're standing by. The key thing is here is to have a real gentle steer into the jive, and it's all about timing. When you think the spinnaker is just about to collapse, that's when you should be rolling the boat. So jiving in two, one, 